everybody. Morning, Hi. guys. Do you know what? What a fabulous week we've had. Yeah. It's actually been really, really lovely to have you all back. Do you know, the school is just not the same without all the children. It's and rubbish. I, I, it is. It's really boring. The staff have all said that. Yeah. So we have really, really loved having you all back. What's also been really nice is seeing our primary sevens that have just left mm -hmm. walk into school and hearing the good stories about how they're getting on at Baldragon and St John's and St Paul's. Yep. Delighted to hear about how they're all getting on. And lovely to see our new primary ones coming Isn't into school. Isn't it? Looking so smart they as are, well. They are, they are. I think we would have had a riot on our hands if we'd said no school uniform because everybody has made such a good I effort. think it's actually the smartest they've ever been. They have. <laughs> They have, they have. It's so lovely. It's so lovely. So just wanted to say welcome back to everybody. Mm -hmm. It's nice to see you all back. Really, really loving having you all back. And really, really nice, even though we're doing it at two metre distance, um, seeing all the parents and carers. Because yeah. we, do, we do miss our conversations yeah, with our do. families at the start and at the end of the school day. So welcome back. Um, we hope that you've enjoyed your first week. And what we're hoping to do is post some more videos of the children in classrooms just to let um, parents see how we're managing things. But also wanted to say thank you to the parents and carers yeah, as absolutely. well. absolutely. Because we've had lots of good feedback. Yeah, um, but also thank parents. you to the parents and carers for just working so well with us. And I know that a lot of you were anxious about sending your kids back. A lot of you were anxious how we were going to keep them safe. How can we make sure that the kids are sanitising? And the feedback that we've had from you all has been amazing. And even down to, could you please follow the green footsteps, not the red ones? You've done everything. And it's working together with us like that that makes life so much easier. So thank you to each and every single one of you. I think what we've seen is absolutely partnership in action. Yeah. Um, we couldn't have done it, done it without you. Yeah. And I know that you've appreciated our support in getting things right as well. So big thank yous all round. Um, and yeah, see how it goes the next couple of weeks. We'll keep you informed of any changes as we go. And likewise, please don't be a stranger. If there are things that are not working for you or questions that you want to ask, please come and see us and let us know. But Mrs Emmett, we've got a bit of a problem here. Why? Because we're talking to the parents. Yeah. This is assembly, it's meant to be for the kids. So parents, bye. We're now going to talk to the kids. <laughs> We are. We are. Right, okay. So kids now. Right, kids now. Hi kids! Hi everybody! Hi, hi. We have missed you guys oh, so much, haven't yeah. we? Haven't we? The school is a very, very, very strange place without the children. Isn't it just... And it's quiet. Maybe apart I get, from Mr Silver's room, it's I get been scared. quiet without them. I actually get scared in the school it's on weird. my own. It's, a bit it's not good. Yeah. It's a bit strange. Mm -hmm. So it's been lovely. It was lovely to have you back in your smaller groups, mm -hmm. but even better today. I think we're back to the usual downfield hustle and bustle yeah. and having you all back in. Yeah, it's absolutely lovely. Now, today's assembly, it's not going to be full of my usual nonsense <laughs> because it is just a welcome back assembly. So I do actually have some virtual certificates to give out today. So this is a first for downfield. And I still need to figure out how that's actually going to work in my head, but you'll find out. Um, there's a couple of photos from some of the classes of what the kids have been doing this week because the learning has started already, which is absolutely amazing. Um, and there'll also be an introduction to some of the new teachers that you'll see around about the school and, and where you will find them. And our new staff, amazing. They have Aren't settled they just, in really quickly. It feels like they've been here forever. Yeah. They're great. Really yeah. good bunch. So you'll get to meet them in today's assembly as well. So stay tuned and we'll see what happens next. So now that we're back in school and everyone's all together, it's absolutely brilliant. However, I do have something that I need to ask you to do. Now, to stop us spreading any bacteria and viruses or anything between each other, we have been given strict guidance by Dundee City Council that you're only allowed to play with the children in your own class. Now, I absolutely understand if you've got wee brothers, wee sisters, cousins and whatever in other groups and in other classes that you want to go and check on, but please don't do that because we're not allowed to have classes mixing. You've been given areas in the playground that we would like you to stick to when you're playing and it's all about keeping you and everyone else safe. So please, Stay with your own class when you're out in the, the playground and if there's anything wrong with anybody else, it'll come to us and we'll do the things that we need to do to keep you and everyone else safe. So please stay with your own groups and remember, 
always, always, always use your hand sanitizer when you're coming in and you're going out and you've been to the toilet, when you've been touching things, because it's doing things like that that's going to keep every single one of us absolutely safe. We might only have been back at school for two days, but what an amount of learning I have seen going on already, whether it's learning through play, whether it's learning through social skills and social settings, whether it's learning the new rules about sanitising our hands and keeping safe distances, even chalk drawn in the playground. It's been amazing what's been happening, even in the first two days that we've been back. That's what makes me so excited to be part of Downfield, because learning just happens all the time. In the nurture room here, you can see the children spending time getting to know Mr Hatton, who, as I've already said, is the new nurture teacher, which is just absolutely amazing. I can tell by what looks like an activity being explained that the children are really excited to have Mr Hatton there. Upstairs in P4B, you can see the children are really happy to be in class. You can see that they're all sitting at a safe distance away from each other. Every single child's got their own piece of equipment and stationery that they need to be successful in their learning. And you can see the big thumbs up there from the children. Now, Primary 2W have been really busy out in the playground with the chalks. Now you can see Alexei and Evelyn there with the chalk and bits of, it looks like sticky tape, but then you can see what it looks like on the other side when the sticky tape is taken off. And I've also got a little video that I'm going to show you of the children being so excited when Miss Watson took the sticky tape off where they'd been chalk drawn. Right, three. Three, two, one, pull up. Whoa! Another thing I want to say is that I know that many of you are in the playground before the nine o'clock bell, which is absolutely fine. However, it is only the children in the blue group who will allow be allowed to go into the school at nine o'clock. Um, so that we can continue to keep numbers low that are on the stairs at the same time. So, if you're in the playground when the nine o'clock bell goes, but you are in the purple group, please can you just wait until it's time for the purple group to go in so that the blue group, they can get their, their hands and everything done safely, and then at 9.15 the purple group will go in. So, purple group is on the second bell, blue group is on the first bell. Thanks very much, guys. Way, 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 way back in January, before lockdown even happened, our primary 6B class, they did a block of swimming. And just before lockdown happened, I got all their certificates and I didn't get a chance to get them handed out. So I'm going to hand them out virtually. Now, this is the first time I have ever done anything like this. So we'll see how it goes. I've given the certificates to the class teachers and um, they will give them out, but I'm going to go through who has been given which certificate. The children who have achieved level one for primary 6B this year are Alicia, Jodie, Molly and Logan. Now we would normally give a clap, so just because we're not all in the assembly hall, let's still give those four a round of applause for doing so well. Well done you four. For level two swimming, we've got Brooke, Kiva, Sherry R, Xander, Ryan and Lennon Laurie. So give them all a big round of applause for the six of them who achieved level two. Well done, guys. For lots of children have achieved level three. We have Ben, Ruby, Martina, Lily Grace, Owen, Alistair. Billy, Jordan and Brody. Lots, as I say, at level three. So well done, you guys. Absolutely brilliant. 
Getting to level four, that's really good because level four is starting to get really quite tricky with lots of complicated things that you have to do. But we have two people who have achieved level four and that is Grace and Mackenzie. So big round of applause for those two. Well done to Grace and Mackenzie. Now you thought that level four was difficult. Level five, you've got to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine different things. Some things like swimming underwater through a hoop while holding your breath and doing the front crawl, the back crawl, doing the breaststroke properly, making sure that your head's going out and in the water. So lots and lots of difficult things that they have to do. And we have got six children who have achieved that this year. We've got Ellie, Lenny, Pusick, Abigail, Fraser, Finn and Emily. So well done to you six. You're absolute super duper swimmers. And if I ever get difficult in the water, I know who to call on to come and save my life. Well done, you six. In fact, well done to everyone in Primary 6B for doing so well with their swimming. There's a few certificates, there's a couple of spell mistakes in the names. I will get them changed and make sure that you get your correct certificate. But again, well done. Give all of Primary 6B a huge round of applause because they've done extremely well. Well done, guys. This year, we have quite a few new teachers in our staff, and I'm going to explain to you who they are, show you who they are, and let you know where you will find them in the school. The first of our new teachers to be added to Downfield, and we're delighted to have all of them, but the first of our new teachers is Miss Bunce. Now, Miss Bunce, you will find in Primary 5B, and she is upstairs next door to Mrs Hill. So that's Miss Bunce. Our next new teacher is an addition to the male teachers on the staff. This is Mr Hatton. Now, Mr Hatton is found downstairs in our nurture room. He is going to be our nurture teacher this year. You'll see him around and about helping out in classrooms as well. But if you're looking to find him, you will find him in the nurture room downstairs. This is Mrs Park. Now, Mrs Park has a slightly different job. She is one of the new teachers in the school, but she is one of the teachers who have been brought in to help us, to help you after being off school for so long with lockdown. So Mrs Park is going to be working in different areas of the school. She might be working with one child at a time. We're still working out a plan for what Mrs Park is going to be doing because obviously we need to make sure that there's not children getting mixed with other children and that everything is sanitised properly. So we're still working on a plan for her but if you see Mrs Park say hello to her. This lady here is Mrs Cram. Now, Mrs Cram can be found in Primary 3 in what was Miss Esposito's classroom last year. So she is downstairs and she has Primary 3B this year. So that is Mrs Cram. And the last of our new teachers to be added to the downfield team is Miss Gillis. Now, Miss Gillis is going to be doing RCT. So just like you go to gym with Mr. J, you go to ICT with Mr. Solomon, you're going to go to music with Miss Gillis. Now, Miss Gillis might come to the classroom to do it, but you might go to the music room at the back of the stage. She will be doing the extra bit of RCT that I would usually be doing at assembly, but because we're not allowed to be all together in the assembly hall, I'm doing assemblies this way and Miss Gillis is doing music to do the other 50 minute slot. So that's all our new staff that have started in Downfield School. There are some new staff that have started in the nursery, but I didn't want to give you too much information today. And I would like you all to make sure that you show all our new members of staff 
just how fantastic the children and the adults here at Downfield actually are. So welcome to all five of you. One last thing I need to ask you about before we finish the assembly for today is I know that everyone is eating their lunches in their classroom at the moment, but it's creating a bit of a problem because some people are really, really, really messy eaters. So what you need to do is make sure that when you're at your table in your classroom eating your lunch, that you're not dropping things on the floor, that you put all your rubbish in the bin, that there's no yoghurt getting dropped on the floor because you've then got to come back and learn in that space. And also what's good to do is to learn how to actually wipe the table after you've eaten. So all your teachers are going to be helping you to make sure that you are able to wipe your table and that all the rubbish goes in the bin. So it's your space, so please look after it and make sure that it's all nice and tidy for your afternoon.